I'm back today to do my favorites. I haven't filmed in a, like a few weeks. I kind of had, long story short, I was supposed to have furniture delivered, so I got rid of my furniture in the living room, and then it wasn't able to be delivered, so I've been kind of in this like weird, my living room just looks like a disaster. So I made time to film in my bedroom today. It's not my favorite lighting, but I think it's okay today. So I'm going to try to make this quick. This is my March favorites. I have kind of a lot of cosmetics this month, um, but I have some really good stuff, but I feel like every month I'm going to believe that this is really, really good stuff. I have a cat joining me. Oh, yes. Okay. So for makeup, we'll start there. I'm going to go back to my Anastasia... Uh, glow kit the Nicole Guerrero one I love this I've been using this like every every day oh thanks and my favorite favorite one is still forever lit this is like a great highlighter it's messing up my lighting it is like this white but it pulls a blue kind of lavender I don't think my lighting is going to be good enough to see that but it's the prettiest highlight and it really it's not blingy but it really stands out so it's not ultra ultra shimmery um but it like has this cool sheen to it that makes it really stand out so that's my number one favorite i've been using that every day except for today but it's april it doesn't matter anymore right the next thing is another highlight i got this as a hundred point perk from an order that i made a while ago on sephora it's a clinique chubby stick in hefty highlight number one I think it's the only one it's like this chunky stick I'm concerned that my cat's gonna jump up here and destroy everything um and this again I don't have a good enough setup that you're gonna be able to see the sheen of it but it's a really great highlight for days when I want to wear no makeup but I still want my skin to look kind of lum luminous luminous is the word um, it's really, really pretty. I think if I wore it over makeup, it would kind of, because, you know, you have to kind of, like, rub it on, and then you were going to rub it in, and I think it would kind of disturb if you had any makeup around that area, but it's so, so pretty, and I've really, really enjoyed this, and I think this is kind of a perfect size, because it's a decent amount of product, but it's not a lot, but I mean, realistically, I'm never going to go through any highlighter, because I have too much makeup. So the next thing I'm trying to think if there's any, yeah, this is makeup as well. This is old. You can no longer get this. It is Urban Decay's Heavy Metal Liner in Gunmetal. It came out, I don't know if you'll be able to see, it came out with the Pulp Fiction collection, which was a super cool, like, random collection. Um, and it is a clear base, but it's black and silver glitter. And my very favorite thing, it's like, I love these heavy metal liners. Um, I do like a smudged black liner and then I put this on and it looks like I've made more effort than I actually have. And I have loved this. I haven't been wearing as much eye makeup lately. So this has been one of my go-tos. And every time I wear it, I always feel like so average and basic when I wear it because it's just such an easy look for me to do. And people compliment me every time. And I'm always like, it's so easy. Buy something like this. I wish that they had more colors like this, but a lot of companies don't come out with black glitter for some reason. So the next thing is skincare and body. My skin, I have been having some trouble. I tried the Bare Minerals Oil Obsessed Oil Cleanser, and it, like, that was at the beginning of February, and I tried it for about a month, and my skin, I was breaking out, like, across my forehead. I had two big spots on my chin that I was trying to fight the whole time, and it just irritated. I had, like, a true, like, kind of rash starting over here. It didn't work well for my skin at all. I took it back to Ulta, and I actually went back to my Josie Marin. It's going to be hard to see because it's clear. Josie Marin argan oil cleansing oil and I actually straight this is kind of grubby because this is all I've used as a cleanser like at night I take my eye makeup off squirt two pumps of this take my face makeup off rinse it off put two more pumps in my hand and kind of um it turns into a milk if you've ever used an oil cleanser with water and I rub that all over my face and cl second cleanse with that and it's been a lifesaver I've had to use super minimal products so annoying when products make me like truly truly break out I feel like I don't have ultra sensitive skin but 
it breaks out very easily with products. Um, so this has been a huge lifesaver and I just feel like I don't ever want to stop using it. It's a little bit, ex it's, it's not expensive, it's like, it's like $38 so it's like more expensive than a normal cleanser but it's not like over overly priced and it's been saving me so much that I don't even care. I hope you can't hear how windy it is. I probably should have closed that earlier. Oh well. So something else that has been helping because I haven't really been able to acid tone at all. I have this little BB. It's the Sunday Riley Luna. I tried this last year, probably around this time last year, um, maybe closer to May. I tried a sample of this. Actually, I was so pumped on it because it's expensive. It's $105 um, for the full size product and I was so pumped that I got it free. I think it was like a 100 point perk or a code on Sephora. And I had it out on my counter, you know, set it on the counter, did the little droplets in my hand, and my cat jumped up. He loves the sink. He jumps up and knocks, like, half the bottle over. It stained it stained the little mat that's next to the sink. And I was like, this oil is so expensive. I was so upset about it. So I got this in the gift set, um, a Sephora gift set. I can't remember what it's called. I think they still sell it. Uh, this is the only product from that gift set that I actually think I would repurchase. I have noticed a huge difference when I wear makeup after I use this. I use it most nights, but I probably skip like one or two nights a week just because. And when I use this, I have visibly noticed over the last few weeks that my skin has become smoother looking, so the texture, it looks a little bit brighter, and it's kind of funny when you notice those things where you're looking like, I'll come home from school and I'll think, um, I'll just think like, wow, my makeup looks better, my skin looks better, and I, I know that it's, um, a lot of people love this, a lot of people hate it. People think it smells weird, I think it just smells like chamomile or something, um, it's blue, I'm sure a lot of people have seen this, it's actually a blue product, I don't want to spill, um, and I am going to buy, they have a medium size which is $55, and when the Sephora sale happens within the next, like, week or two, I'm going to buy that because this has been really, really great. And it sucks when your skin gets really bad, so when you find products that really work for your skin, then I that's where how I validate spending a little more money on things. Um, next kind of random is Schmidt's deodorant. This is the only... I have the lavender and sage. I bought this at Target. It was not very expensive. They have all different kinds. You can buy them online. You can buy it at, like, Whole Foods and stuff like that. They have pots of them. Um, but the stick has baking soda slightly farther down on the ingredient list than than in the pot form. And so it actually doesn't irritate my skin. Uh, a lot of people will talk about natural deodorants, especially with baking soda, irritate their armpits. Um, and this doesn't do that. And I love this. And I love that I can wear a natural deodorant I don't smell bad and it actually works so I would highly recommend this there's a couple that are baking soda free that you can buy on their website and I'm considering trying that just because my skin is a little bit sensitive to that but this is good and it's nice that it's accessible um I'm trying to be fast so book favorites I read or I listened to Lauren Graham's uh, talking as fast as I can I don't have it uh, with me it's in my car still um, I loved it. I would say that if you are not a Gilmore Girls fan, you probably wouldn't care as much about it, but I really liked it, and I would highly, highly recommend it if you, um, if you do like her, I would highly recommend it on audio. Um, another book favorite, I didn't really read a lot of books that I really enjoyed in March, which is part of why I haven't filmed, like, any book reviews or anything. I just finished one today that I'm going to film tomorrow, but... The one that I did read with students from school was The Great Gatsby. I haven't actually read this novel since I was in high school, and I had to actually read it through <laughs> twice with kids, um, back to back. And I there are definitely parts that are like long-winded, and you you know it's just maybe not super exciting. But I love the story, and we watched both um, the Robert Redford movie and the Leonardo DiCaprio movie, and I was enthralled in both. I for some reason just loved this story and I was really excited to reread it and love it as much as I did. Um, two random things quickly because this is getting long. I brought, I bought this like organizer. Can you see pretty print on it? Yeah. 
from Marshalls. It was like $7.99. It doesn't turn that well. It's meant for like a desk organizer, but I just threw all my brushes in it. This is all the brushes mostly that I own and the ones that I use like on a regular basis. I'm not a huge brush person. Most of those I have I bought like years ago as well. Um, but I thought that was cool and kind of a cool tip if anybody's looking for something like that. Um, and then my beloved kombucha. I've never talked about this. I drink kombucha almost every day. The GTs are my favorite because it doesn't have caffeine in it. As far as I know, I, I avoid caffeine for the most part. The original is my current favorite, but I love Ginger Aid so much. And for my birthday, I want someone to buy me one of like the big jumbo sized ones. Um, so that is my, like one of my other random favorites. It's very good. It tastes kind of vinegary, but in a good way and gingery. So if you like those things, um, and they're just, it's really good for you. It's probiotic, but really it's just kind of like, I treat it kind of like my coffee in the morning. And let me look at my list. That's it, I think. I think that's all my favorites. The one thing I'm really looking forward to this month is The Handmaid's Tale. It's going to be, I think, on Hulu. And I've never actually read it, so I'm considering listening to the audiobook as well. If you guys have read that at all, um, tell me if it's good. Because I can't decide. I'm reading so many books right now at one time that I feel like should I start reading a second one or uh, like another audiobook, throw that in. Uh, but I really want to, and I think it's supposed to be so good, and I kind of want to read it before I watch the series. So, that is it. I am done rambling. Thank you so much for watching, and I will talk to you soon. Bye!